Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel on the if you're new, welcome. I am Dewey. This is the second video that I am doing using my Samsung tablet. So this is all new to me using this. So bear with me. I feel like I'm a Bambi lost in headlights. <laughs> but I'll give it a go. So I received this today. This is the Dawn French Me and You a Diary. Now if you haven't seen the amazing Lightning Lasses video, where have you been? I will leave links to her video below. She is amazing. She does lots of unboxings and lots of different things. And she posted this the other day. I hadn't even heard of this Dawn French, French Diary. And I just thought to myself, this looks like something I might be inspired to do. So thank you for that, Lightning Lass. So, let's have a look at it. So it's a big hardback book got the illustration here of the lovely Dawn French who's part of like French and Saunders and just a comedian in her own right does the Vicar of Dibley. So let's read this to you which I was reading when I was rudely interrupted by an advert on my bloody tablet. So let's carry on. It says hello welcome to our diary. This is a guilt free zone you cannot get it cannot get it wrong. Excuse me, I've still got the gold. Use and abuse this book any way you want. Write your appointments in it, birthdays to remember, lists, key dates, thoughts, feelings and reminders of say, who to kill and when and in what order. It's a way for us to spend a year together to celebrate the patterns and changes in the year, along with the twists and turns, the surprises, the hurts and the delights. Every now and then I've made places for you to join me in some silliness or some thinking. Plus, I've written some of my own thoughts about the seasons and the months and other stuff to see, see us through. By the end of the year, I am hoping you will have a fa fatter, scruffier book that is totally personalised by you. I hope it becomes a treasure of your making over to you. Come on in, the paper is lovely. So that's a bit that she wrote herself, which is really nice, isn't it? So, then it's got this bit here and it asks you to put a picture. So I've got an HP sprocket, so I literally just took this picture of me and popped it up. It's like, this is your life. Then it's got this little section here where you put details. So it's got age. I'm 34. Real name, Julie Barber. Photo was taken when? Saturday the 13th of January 2018. Photo was taken where? In my room. State of mind when photo was taken. I feel okay. Uh, and I feel proactive because I'm filming today best thing about that day like every day contacting my man because that makes me cheerful things that I like most in photo I like my eye makeup you won't see it brilliantly on here but I like my eye makeup uh, the, the things I least like in this photo my hair as it is needing coloured so badly three words to describe who I see in this photo I've put myself, because obviously, and I've put old age in lines because I feel like my face is so lined and, oh, just old age under the eyes. Then it goes into, I won't go through all the book obviously, but January, and she's written how she feels about January, so I'll read bits of it. And she's put, look, the fact is we all have to start somewhere. Don't know about you, but I'm a bit tired after the clamour and busyness of Christmas, but in a couple of minutes I won't be. I'll be ready to wake up the year and get going. I know the dark mornings don't help. Why do they feel so ungodly? Is it that we feel like we're getting up in the middle of the night when we should still be curled up? True fact. I try to combat those odd, sluggish, grumpy sensations by imagining I am stealing some extra night time to add to my day. A bit like I used to as a very young person, when a night of fun ended with a slightly wobbly walk home in the gloomy low light of just before sunrise. Alongside the confidence of resi residual tipsiness was the thrill of being sexually <laughs> nocturnal. Part cat, part lush, part party. Sort of Italian or French or whoever it is that staggers home in heels. And I will cut Mac with makeup in interestingly disarray. Moody, complicated, e enigmatic and continental. Recently sexed and slightly... <laughs> She's mad. So I've only... 
Nothing was further from the truth, of course. I would more likely be in Doc Martens and denim overalls with badly dyed purple punk hair, feeling vomity and regretful of whatever clumsy fumble I just escaped from with whichever silly, insensitive, stinky boy was gay. And she goes on like that. So, there's nice wee bits to read as well. And then she's got things like, January is good for this. With last year firmly behind us, we can properly resolve to make this year a blooming good one. Excuse me, when I say good, I don't mean that I will measure the success of it by whether or not I have swung with dolphins or had a meaningful tattoo or learned Chinese. I'm sure it's lovely to do any of those things, but I'll be very happy with some smaller, more attainable achievements. If I am a degree more tolerant, perhaps, or if I can mend a fractured friendship or tell a long held truth or forgive that annoying twat, I would be. It would be big for me. I can only do these things, though, if I actively change my thinking. I know I can, but will I? So there's all these different things. And then she's got this bit over here at this side. I know the ring's too small to show you, so I'll just read it. And it says, I am, and am is in capital letters, going to have a small manageable list of intentions in my back pocket. Something I may well look back at when the end of the year comes, just to have a sneaky peek at and consider whether I have gone anywhere near progress. If I haven't, so be it. I'm not going to beat myself up. I will simply know that they were in my thoughts and that will just have to be good enough. Here is my list of intentions this year. And what she has written is, make sure that wanting stuff doesn't allow me to forget what I already have. Do less. Catastrophizing. I, mean, I guess that's catastrophe things, I don't know. Be a bit quiet and not mind if I sometimes feel a bit sad, even if I don't know why. Be honest if I find someone or something fake. I need authenticity at all times. Be wary of folk who don't take responsibility for their actions. Notice and identify my insecurities so that I can tackle them honestly. Donate to a new charity anonymously. Make more time for family stuff. Make cake. Drink less coffee. Walk more and kiss for longer. That's probably enough, although I can think of thousands more. So then, obviously she goes on to say more, which I'll read my own time, but then she's got her section where she's put I am, and then there's a section for you to do, which I've just written. So she has put I am a female, a mother, a wife, a stepmother, a sister, a friend, a Susan, self-employed, short apparently, bossy, a boss, a writer, a mammal, punctual, a show-off, anchored, a luddite, a grandmother in waiting, a great kisser, lost without my diary, all right on my own, a wanker, a quaker, a quaker wanker, a dog lover, a tip-top driver, a client, an art collector, a dancer, a person of the 80s, a reluctant flyer, a consume, consummate nosy parker, a supreme twat, the one and only nobody I'd rather be. And then it's got a list for you to do. So what I have written, and for once I could actually go and write more. I've put, I am a female. I am a girlfriend. I am a daughter. I am a friend. I am a good kisser. I think I am. I am humorous, as in I'm funny. I think I'm quite funny, got a good sense of humour. I'm a bookworm, love books. I'm a good listener. I like to listen to people and hopefully help them feel better even if they're just offloading. I am a good person, I try my hardest to be. I am a YouTuber. I am a Celine Dion fan. I am a lover of crime TV programmes. I am a lover of gingerbread and gingerbread items and what I mean by that is like I love gingerbread but like I love like a subscriber Lauren Hodgson sent me this little Costa keyring because I love gingerbread things. So that's what I mean. I am an overeater. I am a comfort eater. I am self-conscious and self-doubting. I am an emotional person. I am my own critic and my own worst enemy. And I could add more and more to that list. So I think this is a great thing for you to do. And then it's got January and it's got the days of the week, but it doesn't have the dates and stuff in. And you can put whatever you want. So I've put like when I'm upgrading my phone 
on the 31st of January. I've been on YouTube for a whole week and that's as far as I've got. But it goes all through all the different things. Like when you get into February, it's got Wigby Valentine and you can fill things in for that. Uh, what else has it got? Let's find another month that's got these little things. Four people who, when you first met, you didn't realise would become so important to you. And then you can write these things in there. And then, let's find another one. As I say, because I've only just got it. And then summer, it's got, take a picture of yourself as you are right now, leave it here. And then this is us into summer. And then, let's see what she's got here. So I'm so glad Lightning Last did this video. And then it's got good questions to ask and answer. And it's got stuff like, who's stopping you? What do you wish you could do more of? Which song do you know all the words to? Which songs belong to you? How are you? So this is fabulous. So I'm really glad I picked this up. Because not only can you put in, like, I have a dentist appointment. I, I'm putting this video up on YouTube today. Or I've got a hospital appointment or it's so until his birthday. You can delve in and do so much more. So if this is something you're interested in, you can pick this up on Amazon and it won't cost you £20 like it says in the back, it's about £13, £16 with the postage and I highly recommend it. So thanks very much to Lightning Last and as I say I'll leave the link to her below. I'm sorry I'm a bit jubbly wubbly and I hope this video was okay. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to be notified. I upload Mondays and Wednesdays at 5pm with the odd video over the weekend. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. First goal for YouTube is to hit 500 subscribers, so that would be fan dabby dozy if you came along and supported that. And I hope you enjoy my videos and the content I put up. Thank you so much for joining me and have a lovely weekend. Bye.